In the last uh, meeting, uh, we started to edit the course settings. Uh, we set a title and a, a description for the course. And uh, we also edited the settings for user enrollment uh, in the course. Uh, enabled self-enrollment self and uh, guest access. And uh, uh, we also started to edit the, the content of the course. Uh, we edit a page uh, description and a page uh, outline for the course. Uh, for example, the course that uh, I'm using as an example, as uh, this title, uh, Debian Edu, uh, Edu Training. And by default, it has this uh, form of announcements. And uh, on the settings, I set a description uh, for for the course, for this course. And course format is uh, topics. Uh, course layout is uh, show all sections on one page. This is more suitable for uh, small courses uh, that uh, do not have lots of uh, activities and resources. If we have lots of uh, topics, then probably this one is better. So one section per, per page. One section is uh, one topic, topic uh, including all the activities and uh, resources in this in this topic. So uh, this this is the the page about the description of the course, and uh, this is another page about the outline of the course. Uh, I'm planning to run this course in uh, four meetings, four online meetings, and uh, in each meeting, I, I'm describing the steps or what we are going to do in each, uh, in each meeting. And then uh, we will, in this, in this meeting, we are we are going to continue editing the content of the course, and uh, we will add activities and resources. Uh, let's let's set a uh, blue button uh, meeting first. Here uh, on the activities, we already have this uh, forum. Uh, we uh, click on edit mode and uh, add an activity or resource. After, uh, inside this topic, uh, topic activities. Here we have the big blue button. This is a description of what uh, this activity does. And click on add. Instance type, uh, uh, room with the recordings. Room name. We don't, need, we don't need a description, actually. Uh, room settings, welcome message, wait for moderator. Uh, we can click this one if uh, uh, the students should wait for the teacher uh, before joining the meeting room. The session may be recorded. If we want to disable the recording, then we uncl unclick this setting and check this setting. Record all from start. This will start recording automatically. We don't uh, want this in, in this case. Hide recording button. Uh, this will make recording invisible. So uh, it will record, but uh, there will be no indication that uh, it is being recorded. So we don't want this, this one as well. Mute on start. This is about, uh, this is about the people that uh, the students that join uh, the session uh, when they, they when they join first the session they will be muted uh, record recording view show recording preview uh, I don't want uh, this one check lock settings disable that counts if uh, we want to disable that counts for the students we can check uh, this setting 
disable microphones. Uh, we can disable microphones for the students. Disable private chat. Uh, probably this should be disabled for the students. Disable uh, public chat. Uh, we need uh, chat sometimes, so we are not going to disable it. Disable shared notes. Sometimes we need shared notes. Uh, log settings on join. Hide user list. We don't we don't have to hide, hide the user list. And the uh, role assigned during uh, live session. Uh, now the manager will join the session as moderator. Okay, uh, Dashani Roja, which is actually a teacher, will join as moderator. A course creator will join as moderator, teacher will join as moderator, non-editing teacher will join as moderator, and the students will join as the viewers. And um, and uh, the students will join the session as the viewers. So here automatically uh, it has uh, added all the teachers and managers of the course uh, as moderators. So when I join the this uh, meeting session, uh, I will be automatically a moderator of this session, and uh, any other student of of the class will join it uh, as a viewer. And uh, maybe uh, we can also add access to the guests uh, if we want guests to to join the meeting session, but uh, I don't think it, it's a good idea. Uh, only the people that are en enrolled in this course will be able to, to join. Uh, session timing, uh, open and start. Uh, I don't think we need to set uh, specific times for starting and stopping the, the session. And the rest of the settings are common for uh, all the, the activities. All the other activities show on course page. Yes. Save and display. So this is the list of recordings. Uh, it is empty right now, but if uh, we join session and start recording, then after some time we will have uh, a listing here uh, in this uh, recording here in, in this list. The room is. Uh, Ready. Now uh, I can try to join the session, but I'm already in a big blue button session and, and I'm afraid that they uh, will uh, will conflict with each other some, somehow. So better not, not to try or maybe, maybe I can try, I, I can join again. Join session. So the first session is still okay. Okay, the, I'm joining the second room. Okay, uh, I, I can start a recording uh, with this button here. Uh, and I can share my screen here. Do I need it? Uh, I, I can share my screen uh, with this one. And uh, this button is indicating that uh, it, it is recording. Uh, I will uh, pause recording, pause recording, and I will leave this room and and meeting. And uh, right now it is uh, still not displayed because uh, the recording ne needs to be processed uh, a little bit by the blue button and after it is processed then uh, it will be uh, shown in, in this list maybe we can oh, okay uh, since it was a, sh a short uh, meeting it was processed quickly and uh, here is the the meeting I, I can edit the name of the meeting and i can give it a different name for example first meeting And 
uh, the students that could not participate in the in the session they, they can view the meeting later uh, by clicking on this on this button can I ask a question can I ask a question um how many how many sessions can be how many sessions can be um, can be saved? Is there a limit? So it is working. Uh, now what what else? Now this this forum announcement and the activities uh, it is added by default and uh, we can uh, we can check the settings of this forum and okay this option sub subscription and tracking. Subscri subscription mode is a uh, forced subscri subscription. Uh, this means that uh, all the uh, members of the course, all the students that, that are uh, enrolled in this course will be subscribed uh, automatically and they don't have uh, an option to leave this uh, forum. Uh, and other options that we will use uh, in another uh, forum are optional subscription, auto subscription, subscription uh, disabled. And <clears throat> uh, I think that this is a locked uh, forum uh, that only the, uh, the teachers of the course can uh, post in this forum, not, not anybody, not every student, but uh, I, I cannot find uh, where, where it is, uh, where is the setting for this? Okay, and anyway, cancel. And uh, here we are going to create another uh, another forum for discussions because this is uh, just for posting announcements. And uh, let let me move this one on the top. And we have uh, edit mode uh, still on, so uh, we can. Uh, We can add another activity and the activity is uh, which one forum and uh, we are adding this forum for discussions A standard forum for general use. So forum type should be a standard forum for general use, which is the default setting. Availability. It is open all the time. We don't need uh, to set a start and end date. Attachment and word account. Attachment. Let's say uh, one one megabyte. You are currently the only person in this conference. Subscription and uh, tracking optional subscription. Uh, 
uh, I will make it uh, auto subscription. Auto subscri subscription means that all the uh, participants uh, are subscribed automatically, but they can unsubscribe if, if they want. So uh, this tracking is for participants to choose uh, tracking of the of the discussions to track the discussions. So uh, if they have seen some some discussions already, they will not be displayed. Then only the the new discussions will be uh, displayed. Or they they will see uh, what are the the new discussions. Um, I see that you can also restrict access to the forum. So we have this uh, new forum. Uh, it is already empty. Uh, let, let's try to add a new topic. And since it is uh, uh, out of, uh, I have the option to unsubscribe from the forum as well. Add discussion topic. And uh, it will send announcements to other participants about these discussions. Uh, uh, it will send notifications about this discussion, but uh, not immediately, uh, after 30 minutes. So uh, I still have time to edit it and uh, to correct something uh, if, I, if I want to make some changes. And uh, now we'll uh, add some uh, events, uh, but we, we should add a block for upcoming uh, events on the course. Okay, uh, on, the, on the right uh, panel or pane, which is uh, collapse, uh, there is this button at at the block. And uh, I'm adding this block uh, upcoming events. And right now there are no upcoming events, but we are going to add some events soon. Go to calendar. And uh, uh, new event. I'm going to add a new event for, for the first meeting of, of this uh, course, for example. Date. It will be on Saturday 15. type of event uh, course uh, and uh, for, uh, the course of this event is this one uh, Debian EDU training the course that I'm uh, developing or that I'm working on show more description uh, here on the description uh, I'm going to add the 
the description for the first meeting or the steps of the first meeting. I'm here at this course and here, here, this is the first meeting. And I'm adding a duration sixty minutes. And uh, if I go now to the page of the course. Uh, here on the upcoming events, I, I have this event first first meeting, and uh, I think that uh, the Moodle will send notification before this event to the students. I, I'm not sure, but I I think so. And let's add an event for the second meeting as well. Date will be twenty first. John Moss. And I'm going to copy paste the description for the second uh, meeting. Or the, or the outline for the second meeting. Duration. It means sixty minutes. Uh, I I would I'm going to edit a little bit of the description of the first event. And now uh, I, I have the second meeting as well as an upcoming event. Now I'm going to add some uh, resources and I, I will uh, uh, group all the resources in a, in a separate topic. Uh, this is uh, how I'm organizing this course. It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, you can have resources for each topic, but uh, in in this course, uh, I'm organizing uh, things this way: uh, activities in a in a topic, and here there is a meetings announcement and discussions, details, description, and outline. And uh, here, uh, I'm going to add the resources. This topic. And I'm, uh, I shall delete the third topic.
and, and the other topics as well. So I have this topic and it is empty. I'm going to add some resources here. Add an activity or resource. Uh, resource. I'm going to add a URL. This is going to be the Debian EDU uh, ma manual. Here's the external URL. Description. I, I don't think I need a description for for this one. Here, appearance. Open it in a new window. So here is the URL. If I disable the edit mode, it is going to look like this. If I click on this one, it will open the uh, manual page on, on another uh, tab or another window. Enable edit mode again. Sources. Uh, I'm going to add the same ma manual, but this time as PDF. Okay, this one. Uh, this time it is going to be a file. Okay, I'm uh, going to drag and drop it. Oops. I'm going to drag and drop it here in this in this area, and it will be uploaded. Save and return to course, and uh, it will it will be like this. If I click on this one, uh, it will just open uh, the PDF on the browser, and uh, I, I can download it if I want. And uh, I, I can add some uh, video uh, URLs as well. Oops. 
So enable edit mode, go to section uh, or to topic resources, section to this section. Uh, add an activi activity or resource, resources. I'm going to add the URL and external uh, URL is going to be this one. But, uh, I can also add it uh, to the description and I will show the des description on the course page. I will display the description on the course page. I think this is for audio and video source URL. And uh, I can also add the description that is here. Yes. New window. Present course. But uh, here we see that this. Uh, is a link. Uh, we can edit settings, and uh, here on the on, on this menu, uh, there is these filters, and uh, these filters is multimedia plugins default off. Uh, I will make it on. So this is going to activate a plugin for multimedia. Save changes. And now, if I go to the page of the course, uh, the URL, which was uh, a URL to a YouTube video, now it is displayed uh, as a video. It, it is clear that it, it is a video, actually. So uh, if I click here, it will open the video in a new tab. But uh, I can click here as well, and it will start uh, playing the video, and uh, I, I can make it full screen. Um, let me add another uh, another YouTube video as a resource resources. I edit as URL name external URL this one. And here on the description, I add also the textual uh, description that is on the on the video. I can edit it, uh, uh, I can make it shorter or longer if I want, but in this case, it, it is okay. And I click uh, this one, display description on the uh, on the course page. Here, new window. Save and return to course. And uh, again, I have to go to the settings and uh, add filters. Uh, I enable multimedia plugins. So this is uh, the second uh, the second video, YouTube video. Uh, 
let me try to add some videos for, from Peertube tube as well. Actually, they are the same videos. And then activity or resource. It's settings, uh, filters. Uh, let me try to enable my multimedia plugins. But I think that multimedia plugins are just for uh, YouTube videos. They don't do anything in this case. So if I click here, I will go to the video on PeerTube. Okay. If I click here, it is the same. Uh, so, oops. but uh, somehow it does, does not, uh, it cannot play it inside uh, an embedded as an embedded uh, video. So, uh, I guess that I should remove this one. This is it, it is uh, unnecessary. It's in the settings. Okay, I, I can add another one like this. Got it. Station. As the description, I'm going to the description of, of the video. Here, new window, save and return to course. Okay. Uh, this was for uh, this meeting. Uh, in the next meeting, maybe we will try some uh, other things that are more uh, advanced, like uh, creating quiz quizzes and uh, uh, backup the course and restore it, uh, and so on. Actually, this is uh, this is important. <laughs>